Hey, what's up everyone? DJ Sturf here, and I'm kind of in a programming mood, so I want to put something together that will show me the odds of unlocking various characters in various areas of Five Nights at Freddy's World. I know Five Nights at Freddy's World is pretty old by now, but I don't know. I, I might build something off of this in the future. I got something in mind, so hey, we'll see what the odds are. I still think that you can only unlock, say, the last three characters, Spring Bonnie, Fred Bear, and Nightmare, in Pinwheel Funhouse. I don't think you can unlock them anywhere else. I'm also going to throw in a test for Geist Lair, the addition in Halloween update, so update two. And we're going to see what the odds are, all right? So hopefully this will be interesting and hopefully it'll make coherent sense at the end. But anyway, yeah, let's find out. So Five Nights at Freddy's World stores a value called area. Various areas of Five Nights at Freddy's World have different values, so it stores it in the save file. If you're in Fazbear Hills, area equals zero. If you're in Choppy's Woods, area equals two. So these are all the areas here. You can unlock characters in these areas. Basically, Geist Lair is Halloween Update 2 land, but you also can't unlock characters, all right? So you can't unlock characters in Geist Lair. I'm just running those just for fun to see the stats on that, especially to see if the values go well above 40. And I can calculate an unexpected value, I guess, but I'll do that when I gather the stats, all right? So anyway, I'm more concerned about when you can unlock Spring Bonnie, Red Bear, Nightmare, and what the percentage odds are in each area. So it's probably gonna be zero for all the ones through 23. And I guess you could call the glitch world flip side, or probably better, um, inverse. So the, the music for that is actually referred to as inverse. But uh, also the colors are inverse as well. But anyway, we'll just call it glitch world. How's that? For now. <laughs> anyway, I'm expecting the only place you can unlock the final three characters that you can unlock. So Spring Bonnie would be 40. Fredbear would be 39 and Nightmare would be 38. Those three can only be unlocked in Pinwheel Funhouse. Quite sure of that. I do think you can glitch out the area value so that it thinks you're in one area when you're not quite, but I don't know 100%. I'm not 100% certain on that. Anyway, let's check out the programming and then some stats. Talking through the programming, I wanted to create something in Click Team Fusion just so I would be mimicking the exact random number generation that's being done with Five Nights at Freddy's World. I didn't want to create something in C Sharp. It would have been easier for me because I would have just programmed an array and then just dumped a ton of values all at once based on whatever the roll result was. But I created every frame basically 60 times a second there was a number generated with the equation used in Five Nights at Freddy's World and that was used to basically dump values in a frequency bin for each number and I had another holding bin for values above 40 so in case it did go over 40 I would know as well so if it were an imperfect equation or in the case of Geist Lair how many times it would go out of range even though you can't unlock characters in Geist Lair so anyway a lot of fun I used a file stream and it dumps out a CSV so I formatted it so that I can just use it in Excel and then generate a chart so all right that was about it click team is interesting but it, it worked pretty well actually, so yeah, I'm recording this one after I'm done, so hey, that's good foreshadowing for you. Cool. <laughs> Wish I could, actually, can I just highlight this and then paste? No, I can't. Okay, let's just do it this way. Here. One, two. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and then 33 for the last tier. Okay, good. All right, I should be all set. Let me save this. I'm going to build, and then I'm going to run a bunch at once. All right? Cool. All right, I have everything ready to go. I'm gonna start this and then I'm gonna come back in several hours and see what the results are. Hopefully this works. All right, <laughs> cool. Start, start, start. All right, everywhere. 
and I will be back in a few hours. All right, so all of these are stopped now, and I'm going to save results to file. All right, here we go. First one, I'm going to paste in the spreadsheet here. All right, I'm expecting only a few characters will be able to be caught here or added to your party in Fazbear Hills. All right. Hey, okay. So let's look at the data. One point, about 1.4 million, not quite um, data points. This is just about, okay. So this is two times this one. So if this were X, this would be two X. This looks to be three X. This is double that, so that'd be 6x, uh, 7x, and 8x. That seems pretty, that's pretty interesting. All right, let's see what happens with uh, with the other data. Let's see if there are any patterns here that I can pick out other than that, but yeah, that's a good starting point. So basically, if you have one, two, three, six, seven, eight on, uh, on this one right here, Fazbear Hills, you can't have anyone past Phantom Foxy unlocked. And if you have one, two, three, oh wow, thanks for defining that as time. Um, <laughs> you have one, two, three, six, seven, eight. You're gonna have one, three, six, 12, 19, 27 possibilities. So this would be a one in 27 to get Phantom Foxy, a two in 27 to get Phantom BB, a one in nine or a three in 27 to get Phantom Chica, a two in nine or a six in 27 to get BB, a seven in 27 for JJ, and eight in 27 for Phantom Freddy. That's only in Fazbear Hills. All right, let's go to the next one, Choppy's Woods. So I got to go over here. All right, that's area two. Let's close that. And then, oops, <laughs> here we go. Save results to file. Open that up. And there it is. All right, copy that, paste it in here. All right, so we have more, more data here. Interesting, you can't get anyone past Withered Bonnie in Choppy's Woods, but you can get Phantom Foxy, Phantom Mangle, and Bonnie. Okay, you can get Phantom Mangle and Withered Bonnie. You're gonna get an extra two characters because it's area two instead of zero. So that's a linear thing right there. So if we go to area five, oops. Let's not delete that data point. I would expect the next area you'd be able to get through Withered Foxy. All right, let's look at the chart though. You see the same stair step pattern here and here, and then there's a flat line there. I wonder if that's gonna continue. So you have there to there. And why is the zoom like this? That should be 175. There you can see everything all together now. So let's compare here to here. Yeah, it's the same stair step type thing. Huh. All right, let's see if the pattern continues. All right, so the next one would be dusting fields. So here we go. Um, close this one out. Go over here to area five. Save results to file. Load that one. All right. Going to minimize that while I paste it. Ooh, ooh, look, look at that. Look at that. All right, let's go back one, Choppy's Woods. Let's see if the same X, 2X, and all that. All right, X, 2X, 3X. Yep, this is 6X, 7X. Yep, 8X, 9X, 9X. This does go above 20, but it, they're about the same there. You know, it's, yeah. That's really cool, actually. That's actually really, really cool. Um, let's see, if you divide 280367 divided by 31001, 9.04, and if you divide 2 point, uh, 279, 735, divided by 31001, 9.02. Yeah, it's, it's about it's about 9x. Let's see if that continues through the next ones. Uh, dusting fields. This is definitely x, 2x, and 3x. It's definitely 6x, 7x, 8x. All of these are 9x. Look, they're right within, right within the same... Yeah, I mean, it's almost just completely flat. The more data points you're gonna have, the more it's gonna look like that. And we have just about uh, almost 1.4 million on each one of these. Okay, Lily Gear Lake, let's get that. Lily Gear Lake, gonna close out this data. Open back, we're area eight. Save results to file. Open that up. I don't know, I find this interesting. <laughs> Copy that. I'm gonna paste it in here. 
Hmm. It's the same. <laughs> Look, and this is 1.0. It makes it really easy to see. It's interesting. It's actually 1.0. I guess this is probably closer to 1.01, right? So this might be a tiny bit low versus the other ones on this one. 3x. It's, it's statistical convergence, basically. 8x and 9x. Yeah. Yep. Completely flat here. So the same stair step. Interesting here. Withered Puppet is the most rare in Lily Gear Lake. Then Puppet or Marionette. And then Shadow Freddy. This is one, two, three, basically. So BB is going to be six times more common to find than Withered Puppet. Or I should say the most rare character in whatever area you're in. Is that true for Fazbear Hills too? Yes. So Phantom Foxy is six times more rare than BB, but that also says that BB is never the most common character in any area. Actually, yeah. Phantom Freddy is the most common here. Phantom Chica, same thing with Phantom Freddy. You get all the other characters 9x likelihood compared to the rarest character in there. That's, that's really interesting. So JJ is gonna be seven sixths as common as BB in any area. That's really cool. Okay, let's see if that continues all throughout. All right, next one is Mysterious Mine. So close this. Area 11. See results. Okay. Pretty cool. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and there's a little bit of unevenness. I mean, you don't have infinity points here, but they all converge to the same type of thing. And this one actually had fewer data points. What happened there? It's only at one point. Did I get the out of... No, there, there are no out of range on this. Is that right? Let's just make sure. Yeah. Why were there fewer data points on that? Huh. I wonder. Like any processor overload or something that would cause that? 6x, 7x, 8x... 9x, all the way down. Yeah. There weren't as many data points on that one. What about Lily Gear Lake? Yeah, it's the same. I'm expecting about 1.4 million on each one. I don't think I stopped it early. I'm, yeah, I'm, I mean, I left the computer. All right. Uh, all right, that's, it's the same pattern. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, and then all nines. All right, Black Tomb Yard, 14. Fourteen. Save results to file. Why? There's 1.4 million records for this one as well. I keep wanting to say rows. They're basic, yeah, basically rows of data, but frequency lines on this one. Um, Nightmare Foxy is the last character you can get in Black Tomb Yard. Let's go back to Mysterious Mine. Yeah, Nightmare Freddy just keeps on advancing by three now because it goes, you know, 5, 8, 11, 14, or 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. So that is, that's super interesting. <laughs> um, same thing here, X, 2X, 3X, 6X, 7X, 8X, 9X, all the way down. Um, let me run the data again on Mysterious Mine just to be sure. Why, why is there not the same amount of data points on that? Save results to file. Just want to make sure. Yeah. I don't know why this didn't run nearly as many data points. That's weird. All right. I wonder, maybe I'll come back to that. If I see another data point like that, that'll be interesting to, to check on. 17 going to generate all that. Save results to file. Okay. Oh boy. Did I copy and paste that right? Alright. Yeah, almost 1.4 million rows on this. Um, same thing. 6, 7, 8. And then all 9s. So this is pretty well expected. <laughs> So you have, you have the stair steps, higher stair steps, and then flat. And that's it. OK. 
Okay, what about Pinwheel Circus? I guess in Deep Metal Mine, Plus Trap's the last one you can get. Pinwheel Circus, it's it's shaping up so that you only get the last three characters in Pinwheel Funhouse, but let's let's get to that. Let's make sure. Alright, Pinwheel Circus is area 20. Save results. Paste. 134,000 on this one. Why was there not 139 whatever? Or almost 140,000. Huh. That's still a lot of data points, so I'm fine with that. It's the same thing. <laughs> All the way down. All right, it's still 1.345 million. 1.345663. 1,345,663. Go over to the inverse area or glitch world or whatever you want to call it. Flip side. Um, okay. Ampersand asterisk underscore 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 T W R E. All in caps, yelling out loud. All right, I close that, yes. All right, next one is, yeah, 23. Save results. Yep. <laughs> you can get through Nightmare Fredbear. You can't get the last three characters in the inverse or flip side or glitch world. All right, so all that inverse music and all that. And really, really difficult characters, even if you find the secret very early, yeah, it's it's rough. All the characters are turbo powered compared to everything else right next to where you can glitch into it. So you can accidentally end up losing very quickly. But if you can win some battles there early on, ooh, you can you can power yourself up pretty quickly. It's just not really advised. And interestingly as well, it's more important in Five Nights at Freddy's World that you get the lowest row of characters. That's the most important part with that because they're way overpowered compared to, say, the first row. first row is very underpowered. You'd have to level them up for a really long time, like several years, to have something respectable for the first row. And that's unfortunate. It wasn't really balanced. The leveling was not done in a way that you could use any character for the boss. If you bring Freddy all the way through, you're going to be very disappointed. <laughs> you need a heavy hitter. And if you're using the Halloween Update 2 characters... Yeah, that they're, they're game-breaking, so, yeah. All right, anyway, and <laughs> the Android version, I believe, made a, a, a side comment about how overpowered they were. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that was that was the case. Okay, yeah, another 139, 9330, about 1.4 million records on that one. Pinwheel Funhouse, I'm expecting you can get anyone. In the glitch area, you can't even get Spring Bonnie, Fredbear, or Nightmare. The thing is... I've done an unlock fest. <sighs> what happened was in, in this one run I'm thinking of, I ran it for probably 17 hours and I had all but the last three characters. And I don't know if there was some way that I glitched out the area because you're supposed to be able to get everyone in Pinwheel Funhouse. Pinwheel Funhouse has the area equals 26 and let's get the data for it. So I'm actually just getting the data here. I think it's this one. Yeah. See results. But I wasn't getting any of those um, those final unlocks. And I don't know whether it was just horrible odds or whether I had somehow glitched the area variable into something else. Because there was, at some point, Daco said that he got, uh, he got Fredbear in, I think, Deep Metal Mine. But... If you can glitch somehow to where it thinks you're in Pinwheel Funhouse, I could see that maybe happening. But Deep Metal Mine has Area 17. I wouldn't expect you to get anyone past Plush Trap. And I think mathematically that's the case. And maybe he was mistaken on that. I don't know. But uh, here we have, <laughs> interesting, the low odds on Spring Bonnie. But only in Pinwheel Funhouse. So if this is X, 2X, 3X, all that. 6, 7, 8, and then 9... You see, there is a 0.38% chance, which is almost four in a thousand of getting Spring Bonnie any time that there's an encounter. Interesting with Five Nights at Freddy's World, it doesn't keep rolling. So anytime, if you if you need a character and you, you only have Spring Bonnie left, one in every 
you know, about 250-ish runs, you will have a, a chance of getting, um, is that right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have that chance of getting um, Spring Bonnie as a, as, as a battle, as a character a acquisition attempt. Yeah, uh, Scott should change it to um, character acquisition attempt. I like that. All right, uh, Spring Bonnie, that's pretty harsh odds. So say you're in each area here. How many areas are there? There are 11. Actually, there are 10 that are non-Halloween. We'll get to Geislair in a bit. There are 10 areas. So if you spend equal time in every area, you're going to divide this by 10. So you have 0.0038. <laughs> oh my goodness. Equals this divided by 10. Wow. And turn this into a percentage. That's basically, <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just not good odds. So if you do one divided by 0. 0.0038, one in 2,631, all areas considered, that's, those are really bad odds. So basically what you want to do is you want to camp in Pinwheel Funhouse and you're going to take probably four or five hours on average to get Spring Bonnie. And that seems to be about the time frame that I, I get. But with Five Nights at Freddy's World, if you only have Spring Bonnie left and you you get a get an opportunity for a roll and it's like, oh, uh, Spring Trap, you're going to have an encounter with Spring Trap on this one, but you already have Spring Trap, so it just doesn't give you the opportunity. It doesn't re-roll until it gets Spring Bonnie. It just is like, oh, well, too bad you already have Spring Trap. So basically, yeah, one in 263 or so opportunities in Pinwheel Funhouse alone is where you can get Spring Bonnie. And the same thing, you get twice the odds of Fred Bear and three times the odds of Spring Bonnie for Nightmare. Not very good odds. It's going to take you forever to get all these characters. So um, it's the same population of possible role values. So if you are in the same area here in Pinwheel Funhouse, you have chances to get Nightmare, Fred Bear, and Spring Bonnie, all of them. And you don't have a chance anywhere else. But if you roll non-Spring Bonnie, that doesn't disqualify you from getting a role that says Fred Bear. So, it, yeah, these are not, um, these are not the end of the world odds, but they're just, they're very harsh with what the game has, and the replay value is, uh, is a little, a little painful as you have to grind through all sorts of battles, and I believe you can just hold R and use the run luck chip, and then when you run, at the end of that battle, you have a chance of having an, a character encounter. But and again, you just have to do that for a really, really long time. If you actually battle the whole way through and level your characters, yeah, I mean, it's gonna take even longer. Man, <laughs> the unlock fest that I ran, they, um, they were several hours long each. And that included, I believe, running from every battle. It's been a while since I've watched those back, but anyway, yeah. All right, so those are the odds there. The one thing that I don't know fully, and I'm, I'm expecting the same thing, because you can't unlock characters in Geislair. I'm pretty sure that's the case, like 99.99% sure on that. But I just figured, let's generate some stats here. What if Geislair had an unlock capability? What would the odds be? And I'd expect a lot of them to be out of range, especially since like, all the characters are gonna have some sort of chance but not a very good chance. All right, so for an expected value on Geist Lair, if you could unlock characters, I would expect 6x, 7x, 8x, and then 9x all the way down. And since 50 is 24 more than the last area, which is 26 for Pinwheel Funhouse, I would expect at the end would be 62, 63, and 64. So it would cap at 64 since 26 plus 24 equals 50, and the last one capped at number 40. I'm expecting there to be a lot of outer range, and this would be X, 2X, and 3X, and then all the rest would be 9X. So this would be, um, uh, let's see, the 32 values, right? So we're looking at 29 times 9, which would be 261, and then you would add in 21 for 6, 7, and 8. So your numerator would be 282, and your denominator, like the entire, entire set of numbers, would be 282 plus, 
and then you would have 41 through 61 at nine. So that's 21 values, so that's 189. So 282 plus 189. Um, and then you would add in six at the end because three, two, one, all right? So it's 195 plus this, which would be 477, right? So this divided by this would be the numbers in range. And the numbers I would expect, so in range, and out of range would be one minus this, which would be, yeah, 40.881%. All right, so you'd have a lot of draws that would either try to unlock the characters that would be the Halloween update. That's not what Scott wants, I'm sure. You want to play the mini games to unlock those and those only. That's probably why he took out the unlocks. So you had to do that as opposed to get them by a random encounter, which you can't do in Geist Lair. Still quite sure. But this is what I would expect, all right? So let's, let's go to the data and I'm going to copy it. Let's see how close it is. Hey, look at that. Yeah, that's that's right about where I would have expected it. All right. So that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's put expected values. Okay, and compare it here, 40.86%. That's a huge spike. But if you, um, let's look at the chart and get rid of that one row. Yeah, it's the same type of distribution. You just don't have that step that you see yet. It's going to be all the way over at the edge. So if you see that the, the right side, it just progressively goes out further. And you have that same big old flat top body that you have everywhere, just withered. Uh, not well, withered, uh, Geist Lair. <laughs> withered Geist Lair has a, has a lot longer graph because it's 50 compared with 26. So that's, yeah, it's going to be 9x until that, those last three, and those characters don't exist. Even with the Halloween characters, those go up to 50, so it would probably just do nothing, hopefully. But at the same time, you can't unlock anyone in the Geist Lair. So uh, if, I, if I want a general trend... General, general trend. You have 6x, 7x, and 8x for BB, JJ, and Phantom Freddy. So P Fred. And then you have 9x's all the way through, let's say, uh, second to last, next to last, and the last in an area last unlockable in area. All right, let's expand this row or this column. <laughs> there we go. 3x, 2x, 1x. So x. Yeah, so that's the pattern everywhere. It's just what's the last character you can unlock in each area just by math. And here in Pinwheel Funhouse, you can unlock everyone. The glitch world, you cannot unlock the final three. You can unlock the final six in Pinwheel Circus. Basically, area minus or 26 minus the area value would be how many characters you can't unlock in each area. So here is 9, uh, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and here just 26. So you have 32 possible characters that you can unlock because the first row of eight is unlocked from the beginning. And yeah, you got six that you possibly can get in Fazbear Hill. So that's pretty neat. Um, I'm actually happy that I made that automation then. That is cool. Uh, running that formula, that's that's pretty cool. I kind of like these things anyway, but uh, let's also, let's put this back in that final out of range column. So you have the overall aggregation, here we go. But note that this does include a lot of values, all right? That's 41 through 64. So you have 24 different values here in this one big old bar, all right? Compared to the other ones, there's just like nothing. Okay, so that that's interesting. And those are the odds of getting various characters in various areas of Five Nights at Freddy's. Here, Spring Bonnie, 0.38%, only in Pinwheel Funhouse. Fred Bear, 0.77%. Nightmare, 1.15%, just in Pinwheel Funhouse. All the other areas you can't. So if you average all the areas combined, which isn't really a, a complete good way of doing this, but I'm, I'm saying like for the whole game, you either have to camp out in Pinwheel Funhouse to unlock all of them and just spend a whole lot of time here, or if you're just playing the game through and hoping that you're gonna randomly 
<laughs> end up with Spring Bonnie, yeah, you have a very low percent chance. You're going to divide this basically by 10 because there are 10 main areas in the game, uh, not including the Halloween update where you can't unlock characters. But yeah, that's that's at least putting some numbers to it and also explaining the general distribution here. So, all right, hopefully that was in interesting and informational. Yeah, that's neat. I also don't know why some of these did not have a full 1.399 million row count or record count. This one only had 1345 and then one more mysterious mine had 1257. So I don't know what happened there. I don't know if maybe those those uh, executables stalled out for a little bit and it just stopped gathering data because that's actually a sizable, like this is gathering 60 times per second. That's a lot. So if you um, if you do one, let's let's actually get the number from here. All right, let's take this value. I would expect something more like this. Oh, thanks for, wow. Thanks for not copying. Here. What? No, that is. Oh man, Excel. Oh, you're so cool sometimes. That is what. All right. One three nine nine three three five <laughs> minus one two five seven six one four equals divided by sixty. This is how many seconds it didn't run if it came to that. So how many minutes? Thirty nine minutes it stalled out maybe. So almost two thirds of an hour it stalled out maybe. I don't know. That's an awful long time. I I don't know. I don't know why all the other ones. It's not as if it were toward the end, like it was overloading a processor or something. I'm running a 32 core processor on this box. So this this is not lacking in any way relating to that. I would expect more records than this. I just, I don't know. And same thing with Pinwheel Circus. That's, that's enough. I'm just wondering why it's not nearly equal to the other ones. So anyway. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully that was interesting. Maybe I'll build something off of this, and that'll be hopefully fun for you all. All right. Peace. God bless you. Have a great day. And yeah, those are the odds. Not very good, but hang out in Pinwheel Funhouse with the Fine Characters chip, and I uh, hope that you can finally unlock Spring Bonnie. I think you just have to be like walking, and like you have to move. Not a whole lot of fun for the unlocks, but anyway. Hopefully that was interesting. Peace. God bless. Have a great day. <laughs> Nice.